Gov. Right now, there is an urgent need for blood donations. Because of East Coast storms, blood drives have been canceled, and the Red Cross says the need is immediate. K2's John And with the damage, an important call to action. There's an urgent need for blood donations. Lots of cancellations. Just over the past four days, the Red Cross says 28,000 donations have gone uncollected in the Pacific Northwest. 800 less. Even though we're not living through the destruction storming the opposite coast, we can still help. The Red Cross prioritizes local hospitals first, but after that... We do have the ability to deliver where areas are being affected, in, in this case storm-related areas. In addition to the urgent need for blood donors, there's also a critical need for platelet donors. That process can take a little bit longer, around two hours, but for some, it's more enjoyable. I did it first in college. Gwen Fletcher started as a blood donor and became a platelet donor about seven or eight years ago. So most people watch a movie or um, television show. I sometimes do that. Today I brought a book. Um, it's very relaxing, actually. Whereas donating blood only takes about 10 minutes, donating platelets takes about two hours. But what's pumping through here goes directly to those most in need, like cancer patients. If I were on the other side, I'd hope someone had donated. Gwen says it's not painful. The initial needle insertion is the only thing you really feel, and that's one second. So she says give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? If you don't like it, you know, then at least you tried. If you're willing and able, it's as simple as making a call, 1-800-RED-CROSS, going online, or you can even download the app. All you have to do is plug in your zip code, and it will tell you where the nearest donation center is to where you live. In North Portland, Genevieve Rayon.